In this video, we're going to go through a practice problem solution where we try to draw out our voltaic cell that's been described. Uh, so we have this chemical reaction between zinc and lead nitrate. Um, our zinc is going from a zinc zero oxidation state to plus two. And so that means it's going to lose electrons. Losing electrons is the same as oxidation. Our lead is going from lead plus two to lead zero. So this one is gaining electrons. It's being reduced. So oxidation takes place at our anode. So that zinc is going to be at our anode. And reduction takes place at our cathode. So that lead plus two will be our cathode. So I was gonna draw, if I'm going to draw this out, I'll, I'll have, um, I'll try to do it here. Um, since zinc and lead are both metals that um, I can clip a wire onto, they're a little bit more straightforward. There we go. So my pretty poorly drawn beakers. We'll clip this together with a wire. So I have my electrodes immersed in a beaker with a solution in it, presumably. Um, and I have uh, a salt bridge that goes in between them and those wires are connected with another, or sorry, those electrodes are connected with a wire so the electrons can pass through it. Um, so I'm gonna make this my anode on the left and I'll make the one on the right my cathode. My um, anode is where oxidation takes place. So this uh, metal electrode will be my zinc electrode. And the one on the right will be my lead electrode, and it'll be the metal. Now, in the solution, I'm going to have the electrolyte. So for the zinc that oxidizes, that's going to be my product, that zinc plus two. Um, so there'll be zinc, um, in this case, nitrite, NO3, two in solution. Uh, and for my cathode, where reduction takes place, my electrolyte solution is really my um, prod, or sorry, my reactant. So that'll be the lead NO32, the lead two plus. All right, and I've drawn it. So now I'll expect that electrons are gonna flow from the oxidation side to the reduction side. Oxidation, I'll lose those electrons. So I'll take electrons from the zinc side. They'll flow over to the reduction side of my voltaic cell where that lead will take the electrons. And so I'll see, in this case, zinc metal go into solution, and I'll see lead ions become solid on my lead electrode. So it'll gain weight, the lead, and the zinc will lose mass. All right. Now my salt bridge will have um, sodium nitrate in it will be some sodium ions and some NO3 minus ions. Those uh, sodium ions are gonna go into the cathode side and the anions are gonna go into the anode. The anions will go into the anode side. That actually makes it easier to remember because they're both A. Uh, so that is my voltaic cell drawn, drawn all the way out. If I want to just represent this as um, using cell notation, um, remember I'm going to start with electrodes and then go into electrolytes and then salt bridge. Um, so for we start with the anode on the left, cathode on the right. So here, anode. And then we have our electrode, electrolyte. So let's we'll start on the anode side. Our actual electrode is that zinc metal. Our electrolyte is zinc plus two. It's aqueous. And we haven't been given the concentration in this problem, so we can just leave it as aqueous. If we knew the concentration, like one molar or 0.1 molar, we would include that. Then we have our salt bridge, which will be the double lines, followed by our lead plus two electrolyte. I'll put the phase. And then we'll finish with the electrode on our cathode side, which is the lead solid. And now we have cell notation for our uh, voltaic cell.